everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm sitting here at my dining room table and I'm going to be tweaking my lantern centerpiece and I will show you what I've done to, well, what was done to it and what I'm going to do with it. Here's a picture of it right here and how I had created it for the other blue and white decor. Well, since then, sweet Bobby over there at perpetualribbons.com had sent me this beautiful blue and white uh, D. Stevens now I have this that I've been working with through this decor, but she had sent me this before Thanksgiving. And I had made a couple of bows with this. One, what did I do with the other one? It's on my bicycle over there in the, in the living room. And you'll see it in a, in a future video. But the other one I had put on something else, a lantern or something else but I had just made this funky bow up in it. And this is a funky bow. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six loop funky bow. So it's not a huge funky bow, but this is what I'm going to use as the bow topper along with some ivy, just very simply. Nothing is ever easy. I'm telling you, uh, a couple of ivy tufts turned on one another and then I'm gonna put the bow in the middle and we're gonna pull some ivy leaves up and through the ribbons and that's going to be my bow topper for this lantern. So let me turn my, my video camera around here first and show you what I have going on here. Okie dokie, but before we get to the lantern topper, I wanna to work with around the lantern uh, first. As you can see here, I just have a bed of ivy. And all I did, honest to goodness, was just put a bed of pit berries down, old, an old pit berry garland down. And that just kind of doesn't, really, you really can't see it, but what it did was give me something to stick all of my picks in. And I've anchored the corners, as I call it, anchored the corners with my Florida Lee spheres. These are wooden, and I got these from, Mm-hmm. Don't remember. It's been a long time. I've had them for a long time. I didn't, I've had them and I didn't use them for a while. I'm, I want to say Hobby Lobby, but don't quote me on that. Uh, but I am using a tray and this tray is, well, I did purchase from Hobby Lobby and it came in a large size like this. This is 20 inches long by 13 and a half inches wide. I've made this lantern centerpiece so many times. I know that by heart. And uh, the only other things I've used are just picks. See this? This is just picks of, of greenery and uh, picks of ivy. And I've just stuck them in and around. And that's all I've done. I've also, I also have some blue berries like this, picks. And I have them kind of stuck here and there, which I'll probably tweak that once I get everything else on. But I removed the lighter blue magnolias. And instead, I'm going to replace them with these. Uh, you saw, you all saw me haul these a couple videos ago, a couple, three videos ago, and these are what I want to use. I was going to use these in a big vase I have over here, but I think I've got something else I can use for that, I hope, but I decided to just put my navy blue tablecloth, as you can see, on the table, and that's all I want, and I'm going to put these candlesticks on either side of this lantern and that's all it's going to be very classic uh, rather quote unquote plain for me although the centerpiece is not necessarily plain uh, but you can picture it with this bow with just ivy on it and these candlesticks on blue on a navy blue tablecloth I think is going to be stunning so we are just going to go ahead and go for it with these one in the front, I have four, so I'm gonna put one right in the front. And you can see I've got fairy lights kind of hanging out here. Well, I'm gonna fix the fairy lights and I have a whole strand of them. They're gonna be, I'm gonna feed them up and through the bow as well. But you can see I do have them through the rest of the centerpiece too. So 
I want to, and you can see I have it on my Lazy Susan too. This is a Lazy Susan that Chris made for me. Uh, we couldn't find one big enough or what our mind's eye was telling us we wanted, or I wanted, and he made it for me, you guys. He made it for me. It is absolutely beautiful, and it is big, and I want to, it's going to pull in the color of the furniture in this room and act as part of the centerpiece. So I just love this. So anyway, let me turn and we're gonna put a fl flower in the front, one on either side and one in the back. have to wait until Hobby Lobby's florals go on sale again if I want any more florals for that vase. But we'll see. Anyway, when I'm on each side and then that's all we're going to do other than just tweak those lights and these berries that I have here. Some berries. I've been tweak, you know, pulling and yanking at this thing, so it is a little bit discombobulated right now. And I think that looks super pretty, right like that. Very wispy, with just a pop of, of blue. I got these berries at uh, Dottie's Den. They are the prettiest. I get them in red and then blue, and they also have them in uh, like a yellow or a gold in the fall. They're, they're super pretty. They're not cheap. They're like 10 bucks a pop, but they're really pretty, and I use them and reuse them all the time. Okay, I think this is looking pretty. Okay, now you can see all this leftover fairy light. I'm gonna put it back here because I'll probably go up this side of the lantern. Okay, now you know this D. Sevens ribbon I've been using. Well, y'all, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna cut myself a little piece of this. Well, not tiny, kind of a piece long enough to tie around this. And I need to, I think I might just fold it in half. And I'm gonna tie it into the back of my bow here. And that's what I'm gonna to use to tie this bow onto this lantern. Should be enough. And that's the first thing I want to do before I tie the ivy into it. About as low as I can go there with that. There we go. Got my bow there. And let me see if I can figure out how to fold this right in half. enough to where I can snug it in the back here. I'm 
me find the middle. Okay, now. You are thinking I'm crazy, I know. You just be patient with me. And I will, there is a method to my madness, I promise. Cut that down a little bit. Okay, now the next thing I wanna do is I want to take these two pieces of ivy and I want to turn them on each other. I want to turn them back to back to one another like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in here just like this. So let me get a table tie. And I'm going to go right in underneath the twist tie that I used to close the bow with. And I'm gonna come up and around these ivy leaves. You see why I put the, the ribbon that's gonna tie this around the lantern up in first? It's because I want that ribbon, this ribbon to pull it really tight up against this little bulbous thing. I'm gonna to get to that in just a second. But I wanna put two tie wraps on this just to hold it. And of course, everything is getting intertwined with everything. Honestly, you guys. <laughs> okay. I just want to put one down here to keep these together. Okay, now... this with its back or its front the other direction and then I'm going to lift this up and I want the tails going downhill, obviously. I'm gonna pull it, snug this right up against the back or the front of this lantern. I'm gonna pull it around. I'm gonna to try to keep them, keep this ribbon tied or keep it folded right in half until I get it tied on. Again, I got this D. Stevens ribbon from Bobby at perpetualribbons.com. She's got beautiful, beautiful ribbon. All right, here I go. I'm going to tie it really tight on to this lantern. I'm going to pull it as tight as I can. Ugh, and see how that pulled it right up against? Try to tie a bow here. Get a bigger, bigger loop. That. go. 
and that will be the back, but it is just about as pretty as the front is. I'm not gonna put a double funky bow on this. I think this will be just beautiful, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna do a couple of dovetails right to the edge of the, the lantern. enough I may pick at that a little bit more but that looks pretty okay now let's move back around here to the front I'm gonna stand this up just a smidge like that spread this out I need to fluff the bow This to go down and I want these to stream down too. Remember this isn't a very big or loopy funky bow but it sure is going to make a statement on this on this lantern I think. And I can pull a little bit of the ivy up and into and between I think that looks super duper pretty. Now again, I might do it some tweaking, but pretty much that's what I'm going for. It's what I had in my mind. Cottage decor, you guys. Blue and white cottage decor. I think it's beautiful. Okay, now I have the rest of these fairy lights. I want to weave in and up into that bow. And very subtly go up the side here. I really don't want to see the copper of the bow. I mean, copper of the bow. The copper of the lights. I want to weave it in. And yes, when I go to unfurl this, it is not fun, <laughs> just to tell you. But it is super pretty. Again, I will probably be tweaking more and more, but for now, I love it. I think that's super pretty. 
Oh my goodness. All right. So that does it for this. I love it, you guys. I love it. Oh my goodness. That turned out pretty. <laughs> so pretty. All right, next thing I wanna do is something very simple, but I think it's gonna make a statement. I, as you can see here, I wanted to show you my sideboard behind me here. And I'll get you up close, upper, uh, <laughs> and I'll get you closer over there. But uh, it's pretty much just what it was before. I just switched things. I switched my lamp to this end. Oh I may put some of this cotton and this blue uh, flower just right around the lamp, just a little bit. But other than that, I have a picture of Chris and myself, a picture of my mom and dad, and a picture of my mom and myself. And I have pictures of my kids over on the other side. And I used to have them all sitting up here on the on the sideboard, but I thought I wanted to spread my family pictures out a little bit. So I'm going to put some in the in over in the living room too. But I'm going to keep these three here. And as you can see, I have a little plate. Uh, that's my last little Staffordshire plate that I have. I've got a little glass candlestick, and I'm not going to put anything around it. I'm just going to set that little. That's my last little uh, ball that I have. I think I may have some. I have one more bent over there. I may have some more, but I think I used them all. So I just have that set up on a candlestick. I don't even have a glue dot under it yet. And then I have a little bird, which way, that way. A little bird, and then this is a little beautiful little crystal angel, and then that word says faith. And then the plate is a charger, and then the uh, milk glass plate that Miss D gave me, and then a larger size Staffordshire, that's more of a um, sandwich plate, I think is what they called it. So, and then I have the one runner I had before Christmas. This is not one I got for Christmas, I had it. I got it when I first started this decor. But I, I wanted, wanted the more patterned table runner up on the sideboard, and I want, but I want the uh, dining room table to remain solid blue with just these candlesticks flanking the lantern. So I think with the hutch and then the table and then the sideboard, I think it's all going to pull together beautifully. Now, as you know, I still have one more hutch in here to style, but I'm going to go ahead and do what I have been doing with my grandmother's hutch, and that is pulling in the blush pink over there, as I promised I would do throughout the year. Uh, and for some reason, that does not pull my eye in here. Maybe it's just because it's sentimental, because it was my mom's doll, and my mother-in-law has given me things for in there. There are a lot of gifts in that one hutch. And it's subtle and soft enough where I think it blends beautifully with whatever decor I, I have in here, honestly. So we're going to keep, up, keep on keeping on with that blush pink okay. over there. So anyway, I have one more thing I want to put up here on the sideboard, and that is this beautiful milk glass vase that I got from, oh my goodness, come on now, the Minuteman Mini Mall. So let me pull it over here, and we're going to do a quick arrangement in that. Okay, here is the vase. And as I said, I got this from the Minuteman Mini Mall, and it is like the hob, hobnail design, but look at the top of it. I think it's so pretty. The top of it is scalloped, and it's super pretty, and it's big. It's big. So I just want to do a very quick design in this and not anything special. I do want to pull in a little bit of lamb's ear into this over here just to give some lighter green over there. And I want it to be high, and I happen to have these. That I'm going to be using in that vase, but I have one that I can use in here. Ooh, goodness gracious, that is one hard stem to break. Oof, come on now. There we go. Okay. I might want it a little shorter. Huh? And then I have 
another one of these blue flowers. And I have two beautiful white magnolias. Look at those. Oh, so I'm going to put these three. And then I have some ivy and I have some blueberries. So let's see what I can come up with. I'm probably going to get a little quiet here on you. It's because I always do when I do this stuff because I got to think. <laughs> taking this green color off of the blueberries. I don't like this green with this, these other greens. Again, I'm not a professional. Again, I'm not a minimalist. I'm not one of those people that says less is more. I don't judge people who say less is more. So I sure hope they don't judge me or say mean things about me because I don't say mean things about them. I just don't necessarily care to decorate like that. That's just my personal taste. Everybody's got personal, personal taste, right? I've got a, like three more. Let's get them in there. And that, my friends, is that. I think it's pretty kind of crazy and not perfect, you know, which is what I was going for. All right, I'm gonna get this in place. Let me turn around here and do some final words. I'm gonna get this in place here in just a minute. I am doing this video, by the way, look at me, I'm a hot mess, my goodness. I'm doing this video, by the way, on the day that I got my hair done and my little hairdresser just fixes it so cute. Only thing is, when I fix it like this, when it's just straight, um, as you can see, I have the straightest hair ever. Just the straightest hair ever. 
and it doesn't hold its its volume without a little curl but boy I like how she did it it's cute maybe I'll try it like this a bit more just give me you know just so I have some body I'm good you know but anyway no more highlights this time maybe next time <laughs> but anyway I'm I do I'm doing this video on the same day that I got my hair done that I finished up my hutch video so I just sat here and went on into this video so that'll be it with me dressed like this <laughs> all in black and then I had my cape but I had to take my cape off because I was like dying hot so whew, those things are warm so let me go into some final words here and say thank you all so much for stopping in here to visit with me. I love having y'all here with me. I feel like y'all are here with me. I feel like my friends are in this room here with me, you know, watching me do this. Say, no, Arlen, put it there. How about there? Try it there or whatever. <laughs> I wish I could reach out and give each and every one of you a big old hug. I really wish I could. But anyway... I'll go into my final words and say that I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, stick around. I'll give you a, a you know, video view of all of this. But until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.